Good morning everybody and welcome back to another Planet Zoo video. My name is Leaf and thank you guys so much again for joining me here today. So we have another mod showcase as you guys can tell. And it's not a big one but you know we got a lot of cool stuff going on like over like the past week. Maybe two weeks? I don't know. Time has really been going at a weird pace. But, um, yeah, we're going to go back, cover some ones I didn't originally cover, and cover up some new ones. So, let's, like, jump right into the obvious one. We have a new shark mod already. Uh, Swagger Nagger has Dr Grace's great... I, guys, you can tell I record, like, early in the morning. I can never even talk. Uh, graciously given us a beautiful hammerhead mod and look at these guys <laughs> i never really looked at them up close before but they look friggin stunning i mean look at that he's like i mean look at the coloring on that look at like i don't know the reflections i guess that is it's beautiful those teeth too God, these guys are badass i have had some problems with them as i was setting this map up they do like to go onto the land a lot, and maybe that's something that Mr. Swaggernagger can kind of fix up. But yeah, look, I mean, if you guys want to start making those aquariums, feel free to get like a head start on it because these guys are perfect for it. I'm not sure if hammerheads are actually located in captivity. I assume some might be in like some bigger aquariums or stuff, but. Wow, yeah, they're beautiful. I mean, unfortunately, we don't have realistic shark animations, which, you know, sucks, but... I don't know, Swagger Nagger, you did a great job with this one. The only thing, and I'm gonna pull a nick with this one, the icons could use a little bit of work, but besides that, I mean, they have full Zoopedias. This is, like, a really cool image. Um, you even went as far as to do the waters. That is insane. Um... Yeah, great job, man. Amazing work. Alright, so, Mr. Level Wolf, or Mrs., I don't even know. Um, they're taking up a good chunk of our uh, showcase today. We're going to start off with number one, which is the Red Wolf. Now, the Red Wolf is a, it's a very endangered wolf, and we actually have one over in Roger Williams. Nick made one of these guys for his zoo, but... Even he admitted this one looks just stunning. I mean, Level Wolf is graciously, like, blessing us with all these canines, and I love it. I'm surprised they haven't gone back and, like, completely overtaken my Red Fox as of yet. But, I don't know, we'll see. I'm actually talking with them in order to, like, make the fox look a lot better. So, we'll see where that goes. But, let's not talk about the fox. Let's talk about the friggin' Red Wolf. It's beautiful. I mean... Here we go. Zoopedia. Full Zoopedia. Really nice image. Maybe it's just a little too dark, but, you know, that's just my taste. Uh, wow, I didn't I didn't even know they were only in, like, that small area. That's actually really interesting. But, um, you're, you guys aren't here to see me read. You're here to see me talk about mods. But, yeah, these guys are beautiful. I have another one, like, over here somewhere. But yeah, the coloration on these guys is insane. For, like, someone who just got into modding, Level Wolf is already blowing us away. And speaking of that, we're going to go right into the New Guinea Singing Dog. Now, these guys are located in Papua New Guinea. And, oh my god, they're, like, cute little pooches. Um, I'm sorry if you hear, like, stuff going on in the background. My neighbors are doing some yard work, but, um... Yeah, these guys have such a beautiful coat. Look at this. They're adorable. They have kind of like chubby faces, which I find like adorable too. But yeah, amazing work level wolf. I mean, I was never really into canines at first, but I don't know. The stuff that you're pulling out, it's crazy to see. And they use the dingo rig for this one, so they play a lot more than the normal wolves. So I think that's just adorable. Alright, and let's finish off with Level Wolf's last mod. Oh, you guys did not see that. That's fine. Um, this is a purple wolf. 
I have no idea why that happens. I think that actually happens with some, like, variation coats or something like that, because the same thing happened with, like, my ringed seal. But anyways, this is a Mexican gray wolf. And I think they're just cute little creatures. We had these in Zoo Tycoon 1, and it's really cool to have them again. They're beautiful. They're kind of like the timber wolf, but they seem a lot more fluffier. But yeah. Again, icons could use a little bit more work. Um, I mean, who's to say that? Because I'm, like, I'm the worst offender of that. If we just go in here and try and find one of my mods, like... It's not really the best icon work, but <laughs> who knows? Um, but yeah, amazing work. I mean, this might be something to look into. I know Nick and I have had this problem before, so it's like, whatever. But honestly, I kind of like it. It's like a drag wolf. Who knows? <laughs> um, all right, so moving into the next one. This is one that I forgot. This is the Owl Dad, and oh, this one really puts the owl in owl dad because look how scratched up he is all right <laughs> but yeah these guys are beautiful they're from like northern africa and they have these beautiful big beards going on uh i think they're just gorgeous creatures they yeah there's not much else to say about them they're just really beautiful goats yeah nick did a fantastic job with that one but here we go into Mega Gaming Rex, and they are coming out swinging. Uh, you guys might know Mega Gaming Rex from like the Cenozoic and like the Paleo packs. He did like probably 40 different animals in those, and he's making his swing into the modding scene. Well, obviously, he was already in the modding scene, but in the standalone animal scene with the African leopard. And oh my god, these guys are friggin' beautiful. They're they, I'm, like, honestly surprised we didn't get them in the base game, but I can see this getting them in, like, you know, a, like, animal pack for Africa. If you guys haven't watched Nick's video on, like, the whole recent news, please go check that out. Because he talks about, like, you know, the possibilities of the animal pack versus, like, the scenery and animal pack. But, um, yeah, never mind. <laughs> These guys are friggin' gorgeous. I mean, they use a jaguar. And I don't know what's happening. I think everything's getting like this weird purple coloration. I think we need to like look into that. And actually, I'll screenshot that right now. Just so we can bring it to the modding Discord attention. Um, but yeah, these guys are stunning. Like, I just can't wait to make more zoos with all of them. Because they're beautiful creatures. They're like chunkier than the cheetah too. They're just stunning. Actually, let me go back. And get a picture of our happy little drag wolf. And that. Alright, cool. So, um, we are going to save that one for last because it's my favorite one. But yeah, we have the maned wolf. And this, like, this is one of my favorite things. Like, one of my favorite mods. These guys are beautiful. I've always loved maned wolves because they're such, like interesting creatures they're not even wolves they're like i forget what they're more related to but they are stunning creatures they're tall they're they're not as aggressive as normal wolves so like this one shares interspecies enrichment from like yeah it shares it with the bear's tape here and the giant anteater and yeah they're just stunning let's take a uh, quick look at this orange one over here and let's wake him up I always hit, like, the heat map key instead of G. Um, but yeah, look at him. He's stunning. They're, like... I don't even know how to describe it. They're friggin' beautiful. But yeah, amazing work on this, Nick. But you don't need to hear that. Like, you already know how good that one is. But yeah, ending it off, we have NDP's Killer Penguin. And we... We were starting to joke with him, like, are you ever going to release this? And I'm so happy he finally did, because, like, these guys are stunning, and, like, they are hilarious, too. So, if you guys have ever played Zoo Tycoon 2, um, the, you would get these guys from, like, doing the fossil game, like, really badly. And so, we're just gonna speed up time and wait for its prey to get here. But, yeah, you would get these by accident, and they're just, like... 
they came from a bug from Zoo Tycoon 1, where penguins would basically hunt down and kill anything. And I think it's so funny that the tradition lives on in this game now, too. He did all this, like, almost custom. I mean, that beak looks beautiful. We have all those teeth. We have, like, the little tufts that the rock hoppers have. It's amazing work that I did here. Amazing job, NDP. And he even included, like, a new splash screen. He, like, went the distance with this mod. He, like, did, like research into like custom fur shaders and stuff like that he really knocked it out of the park with this one and like you can tell it's such a good mod because of it i was really hoping they'd chase down the uh buffalo but it seems like they aren't oh predation is off hold on we're not leaving here until we see one of these guys chase down the there we go and you can see the buffalo just running away from them. <laughs> like, this is such an amazing mod because, like, you know, all the mods don't have to be realistic. We can we can have some fun with it. And, yeah, the killer penguin is just, like, a fantastic addition to it. And so beautiful, too. Like, as beautiful as a killer penguin can be. Are you going to chase after... Nah, I guess I'm not really doing it. Oh well. But yeah, guys, that covers it all. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mods that we covered today. And there are more on the way. I am working on porting over some of Pure Winter stuff. And a lot more people are working on other projects as well. So if you aren't part of the modding Discord, uh, feel free to check out the link down below to join. You can join us when we like workshop all of our mods together. You can see what people are working on. It's a really fun community and I hope to see a lot of you guys there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and yeah, keep an eye out for the next one and have a wonderful day. Take care guys.